then we have the next question from the brother. Uh, good evening. My name is Mahisan. I'm from Singapore. I work for a shipping company as a superintendent. I'd like to thank you and the organizers here for giving this opportunity. Uh, my question is, suppose if only Muslims are sent to heaven immediately after death, before Judgment Day, what will be the position of good non-Muslim souls such as Gandhi and Mother Teresa who are jihadis in their own rights for their own beliefs? Thank you. The brother asked the question that if Muslim die, immediately they go to heaven. What about good non-Muslims like Gandhi and Mother Teresa? What will happen to them who are jihadis in the right? Point number one, the moment a Muslim dies, he doesn't go to Jannah. That's a misconception. After a human being dies, he goes into barzakh, dormant. All the human beings will be resurrected on the day of judgment. After the day of judgment, all those who pass the test will go to Jannah. All those who fail the test will go to hell. All the people who claim to be Muslims will not go to Jannah. The criteria to go to Jannah is given to Sulayr Asar. And regarding a question, what will happen to those non-Muslims who are good like Mother Teresa and Gandhi, etc.? When I was in school, I did my ICSC, there were six compulsory subjects we had to pass in. Six. Mathematics, English, Science, Hindi, Geography, History. I am asking you a question. I pass in five subjects, hundred out of hundred. In one subject, science, I fail, I get 10 out of 100. Will I pass under 10? No. Correct. Similarly, to go to Jannah, there are four things required according to Surah Al-Asr. Chapter number 103, verse number 1 to 3. Wal as inna insan la fikhus illa lazina amanu wa amilu salihati wa tawasaw bil haqqa tawasaw bil sabr. By the token of time, man is verily in a state of loss, except those who have faith. Those who have righteous deeds, those who exhort people to truth, those who exhort people to patience and perseverance. For any human being to go to Jannah, to go to paradise, he requires minimum four things. He requires faith. Believe in one God, should not do idol worship, should not believe human being as God, should not believe Jesus Christ as God, peace be upon him, should not do idol worship, belief. Second is righteous deeds, do good deeds. Third is exhorting people to truth. Fourth is exhorting people to patience and perseverance. You talk what will happen to Mother Teresa. As far as my knowledge goes, Mother Teresa was a Christian and she believed Jesus is God. So in Iman, she fails. Even in other three, she gets 100 out of 100. In Iman, she has failed. Will she pass the test? No. She may be very good. Same thing with Gandhi. As far as my information goes, Gandhi is to do idol worship. If you have in faith, they fail. Maybe in good deeds, they might have got good marks. Maybe. Even if I agree they have got good marks in good deeds, if they fail, because the biggest sin in Islam, according to Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse number 48, and Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse number 116, Allah will forgive any sin if He pleases, but He will never forgive the sin of shirk, associating partners with God. So anyone who associates partners with God, and if he dies as a mushrik, he will never go to Jannah, he will go to hell. Even those who claim to be Muslim, they will not go to Jannah unless they have faith, they do righteous deed, they do dawa, exhort people to truth, and exhort people to patience and perseverance. Only those people who have namesake, Naam, Zakir, Abdullah, Sultan, Muhammad will not go to Jannah. They have to pass in all these four criteria, then they will go to Jannah. Hope that answers the question. Thank you. A non-Muslim sister has accepted Islam. She believes in one God and prayers, but she cannot tell her family as it is will endanger her life. Her family wants her to marry a non-Muslim. If she marries a non-Muslim, does that make her a non-believer again?